amazing collectibles, some things you have not seen yet. Right. And uh, we're actually gonna jump in and get started. Yeah, actually we got about two hours worth of stuff, but only have an hour. I know, I know. So this is gonna be fast, just to let mm -hmm. you know right, right up front. We're gonna start off with a three-piece last century uncirculated 90% silver half dollars. And uh, take a look at how beautiful these are. This is how we're starting off and I think it's a really great way. Look at how gorgeous. Well, there's best way, and, and people are calling in. We, we debuted this last week because uh, I got a nice quantity. This is the tough coin right here. And uh, it was a very big seller. Unfortunately, our quantities have gone down pretty significantly. Mm -hmm. What we've got here is the last century, the last hundred years of, of circul uncirculated solid silver uh, half dollars. And by solid silver, I mean nine zero zero fine, ninety percent silver. Okay. So we start with the Kennedy half dollar, which was the last solid silver dollar mm -hmm. made by the United States government, nine zero zero fine, and it was only made in nineteen sixty four. So we got that uncirculated in the nationally advertised catalog. If you buy that individually, it's like forty six dollars fifty cents. Wow. Then we have the Franklin half dollar which preceded the uh, uh, the Kennedy and was made from 1948 to 1963. And yours is gonna be somewhere in the 61, 62, 63, something like that, uncirculated. Mm -hmm. 50, 650 if purchased individually. So there's your 100 bucks. Wow, okay. This is the rarest and best and most expensive coin in the whole. This is the Walking Liberty half dollar. You may recognize that design as the design that is currently on the American Silver Eagle. Now, this coin was last made in 1947. So every one of these coins are a minimum of 70 years old. And as you look at that, absolutely stunning, brilliant uncirculated. Now, what I want to show you <clears throat> is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the other one in front of it. Uh, uh, you only get one of these, but this is the reverse design. Okay. So there is the reverse right there of that Walking Liberty half dollar. Now you're used to looking at that where it looks very much like the uh, American Silver Eagle, but this is the original half dollar. Like I said, this was last made in 1947, uh, uh, folks. And remember, so nationally advertised catalog, these two are 100 bucks. So it's like getting the best and the rarest and the most valuable. This is close to a $100 coin at a retail in the, in the nationally advertised catalog. So you're about, uh, uh, you know, so buy this one and kind of get these two, you know, or, yeah. or buy these two and kind of get this one. Yeah. Uh, it's a, either a two for one or a right. two, one for three, or, <laughs> you know, you, you kind of, I don't know, however you want to do your math. No, I like um, that. And That's that you're going math. to have. But I love how absolutely stunning this coin is. And if we can get close on that, we can see the date on that one, probably about a 1946, 47, yeah. something like that. 19, what is that? That one may be 43. 1943. 1943. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? That is beautiful. And it's just like the day it was made. So the key is, is not only that you get these coins, but you get them in absolutely stunning, brilliant, uncirculated condition mm -hmm. as well, just like the day that they were made for basically 33 bucks a coin. That is unbelievable because mm -hmm. think about it, you couldn't buy any of them for $33 a coin and you're getting uh, you get get the flex pay so you get to spread that out but you you heard the way that the math breaks out it's like buying one and getting the other two included or buying two and getting the other one included because of the value of each one separately and uh, just like we said when we started the show our quantities on this are vastly reduced from when uh, we were you know first able to bring these in but you get a chance to get them and look at how brilliant that is and that's what you're saying. Because these are uncirculated, they're in amazing condition. And keep in mind that the, that the Kennedy, the only year that we can even put the Kennedy in here is 1964. Yep. That's the only year that it was made in 900, basically pure uh, fine silver is what it is. Absolutely solid silver. So the Kennedy is 64. Uh, and then the Franklins are going to be from the 60s as well. And then, of course, the uh, Wahoo Liberty Half Dollar from the 1940s. Wow. Uh, and, and that's the coin. Like I said, if I sold that coin by itself at $99, 95 cents. Yeah. I think it would be a, just a spectacular opportunity. Unfortunately, quantities on these are limited. I will have it in the primetime show tonight. That will, could well sell out. I cannot believe we can do this set <clears throat> for this value. Can you? Mm -hmm. uh, that's right. There is a 7 p.m. show this evening, and um, we do expect all of them to go. You get a chance to get those first. 
Now, this is something that is only on the web. Mike, you've <laughs> got to talk us through this. Well, the brand new Proof American Eagle that we have been waiting for all year, that the government traditionally releases that January 1st, 2nd, or 3rd, it's finally coming out. We've got it right there. And if you can go all the way down to right there, great job, Chris, where we have, that's the 30th anniversary where they did it on the edge lettering of the Proof wow. Coin. They have never, ever done that before. This is, we have got it in absolutely perfect 70 condition. You can see our first day of issue, exclusive to us here at HSN. The 30th anniversary, Proof American Eagle certified 70 from the United States. Man, absolutely spectacular opportunity in the Red Oak presentation box. Put it all together. It is the very first look at a coin that we have eagerly been anticipating for the in entire year. Oh my gosh. That's your first look, That's folks. it. That's it. That's right. You right better, there. You better get that right there. And you can get that on hsn.com. Go ahead. I would suggest logging on right mm -hmm. now and going ahead and picking that up. Yes. Um, I wanted to show you this because these are our last in Oh, one last thing. Yeah, You buy that. When If you buy that coin right now, we yeah. have a grading certificate that comes with it. Good for two free coin oh, gradings right. from Annex. Oh, wow. Okay. So I, I think it's about better. close to a $40 value, something like that. $35 to $40. So I'll okay. get the certificate. And remember, so if you missed it, you can uh, call our customer service reps or you can just go to hsn.com. You'll see That's it right there. That's where I go, hsn.com. Right. Okay. I uh, wanted to show you this too because we had a chance to present this once before, you and I. Uh, I know it's been on air before, but I'm looking at our quantity and is this it? This that's, is our last that's quantity? It. This is So this is it between like now and the holidays. Oh my gosh, fewer than 200 of these remaining. 163. We had 5,000. Wow. I have 163 left. This is the entire set of the um, uncirculated presidential dollars. It comes in the frame that you see like, like this. So it comes exactly as you see it here. All of the presidential dollars from George Washington, to Ronald Reagan and everybody in between. And what's great about this frame too is that it's beautiful in its presentation. You can have it um, propped up because you do have a little easel right there on the back. So if you wanted to stand it on a shelf, you could do that. But it also comes along with its own hanging mount. So if you wanted to hang this on a wall, it would be a beautiful piece for you to add to your collection. But what's great about this one is that it's complete. So you've got every single president from number one all the way to Ronald Reagan. And uh, because, of course, you can, you know, they only have uh, presidential dollars for presidents who are deceased. So this is the entire collection right here. Every bit of it. Yeah. So you've got every single solitary one of these, okay? So you've got George Washington, which was released in 2007. So you have 2007, 2008, all the way through 2016, all the way through Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Uh, they're all brilliant, uncirculated. They were released four per year. Every single solitary one of them is a sold out limited edition. Mm -hmm. I have got exactly these. Now we were selling the frame individually on hsn.com no longer, because I'm just, I'm out of frame. Not only am I out of coins, I'm out of frames. Okay. So, and uh, now I'm down to 160 frames. That's it. Okay, that's it, that's it okay. from between now and, and literally the holidays. And look at this, and you know what I love about this? We mentioned it last time. Uh, first off, you do get it on FlexPay if you want, so $37.49 mm -hmm. to get this home. But what I think is so great about this is that even though we might know the president's names, mm -hmm. what's great about this is that you actually get to see their likeness because we know what George Washington looked like. We know what you know Abraham Lincoln looked like. We're very familiar with that, but for some of them, we're less familiar, like Warren Harding. Did you know what he looked like? Yeah. Now you've got him right there. Yeah, Woodrow Wilson, we yeah. kind of maybe had an idea with him. He did that, but William Howard Tatt. The other thing, <clears throat> to that point, they did many of the portraits here instead of in a, in a profile, which is very traditional. Mm -hmm. They did them as much as they could in a, in a facing portrait, uh, which is very unusual and very interesting in its own right. So, uh, so here's what we've got. So the Presidential Dollar Series started 2007. It was a big deal when it first came out. Uh, and keep in mind that these are actually all dollar coins. So you get $39 yes. in here as well. Yes. So unlike the state quarters, which do that, you know, understand you start at a baseline of $39 in cash, mm -hmm. okay, is mm -hmm. ultimately what it comes down to. Then you add in the exceptional rarity of each and every one of these uh, uh, coins. Now the frame, of course, when we did sell it, 
Okay, before we kind of sold it out, and it's a beautiful wood frame with the brass, as you can see, the brass wire in there, I believe it was $49.95. My goodness. So that leaves you basically 99 bucks for the coins themselves. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Keeping in mind, every single solitary one of these, a sold-out limited edition. Every single one of these is in original, brilliant, uncirculated condition as well. Now, here's the secondary part of this that makes it so incredible, so collectible, and so desirable. Keep in mind, when they first released this, the United States government wanted us, wants us desperately to use a dollar coin instead of a dollar bill. Okay? And what that leads you to do is, is make a lot of coins when they want you to do that. But the United States people, we don't like dollar coins. We want like our dollar bills. Mm -hmm. So after 2007, the government says, okay, I guess they're not going to do that. So they have to keep making the coins because it's been legislated and authorized by Congress, but they don't have to make a lot of them. And they don't actually technically have to release them into circulation. So what they did is they continued to make the coins, uh, obviously, each and every year, but the production dropped precipitously. So these coins are substantially, substantively one of the rarest series of modern issue coins that the United States government has ever done. Basically, after 2008, yeah. the government stopped releasing them to the general public. So you couldn't get these at a bank or a post office or anywhere in the general stream of commerce. The government would sell them directly to the public, but not as single coins. Mm -hmm. You had to buy rolls or bags oh. or stuff like that. So there was no way to get a set coin by coin by coin, other than what they they did, had a, they had what was called a, 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 a first day cover, but those were $15 a coin. My so you could have put that together in a first day cover series, but it's going to cost you, government cost on that was $600 or whatever. Yeah. So that's why now we've got these, and you don't have to buy 25 or 50 or 75 of each coin. You can literally buy them coin by coin, one coin at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can literally buy with just one of each coin. One phone call gets this. Now, once again, with everybody on the phone, we've got, I have maybe 100 of these frames remaining. Once again, not for just this presentation. That's all I've got for the rest of the year, folks. Okay. That's right. it. That's, that's, that's all it. I've got for the rest of the year. So every coin, there it is, the seal of the President of the United States. Brilliant uncirculated, that's every right single that. solitary coin. Brilliant uncirculated. Check that out. Mm -hmm. From the very first coin, George Washington, all the way through the very last uh, authorized coin, which was President Ronald Reagan. This, this is a beautiful set, and I love mm -hmm. that it's a complete set. This is about history. Mm -hmm. This is about rarity. This is about, uh, you know, presence when you have this in your home. I, I like that, that uh, seal of the President of the United States. It's mm -hmm. right there, front and center, in this complete framed offering that you're getting and so you already have a this, this the deal and you, you realize not everybody can use this can use this seal Only this is not public this is not public domain this is actually owned by a, 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 a charity called the united secret service division uniform benefit fund which <laughs> literally and they and it was granted by the united states government to that which is an official charity that uh, uh, helps the families of uh, of secret service agents who are killed or wounded in the line of duty wow that's right and so there is uh, going to be of course a uh, uh, like a, a, like a, a, a fee paid to yeah. them for, mm -hmm. for the to use this uh, to, to able to use this seal my the, goodness most people don't know that they just said yeah. that just is everywhere it right. can't be that is actually own actually a trademarked uh, a trademarked uh, 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 item is what you've got right there well, so. It makes sense. It really does. It makes sense because there's a lot that goes into this. And so, and I like that it's there because it is official. And when you see, again, from, from you know, George Washington to Ronald Reagan and everybody in between, some presidents more popular, some are... Um, Kind of a footnote in history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, certainly. Yeah. Uh, and, and the interesting part is, is and if we go here, uh, where's Cleveland? Okay, so you have you have Benjamin Harrison, and go back over here. Let's see, Grover Cleveland. Oh, here he is. Okay, Grover there you Cleveland. go, Grover Cleveland, and then mm -hmm. look over here too, Grover Cleveland. There's two Grover oh, Clevelands. Yeah. And it's not that he served two terms. He's the only president that served two non-consecutive oh, terms. That's right. So there are two Grover Clevelands. Whereas Franklin That's Delano right. Roosevelt served four terms, he has one coin because they were consecutive. So there was Grover Cleveland and then uh, and Grover Cleveland. 
Wow. There you go. There's your little history lesson for the night. I love it. I love, I love, I love history. You know what? It's always more interesting when you're not in school. Right, <laughs> When yes. we were in school and we were in fifth grade and we had to learn it, it wasn't as, as interesting, but this is the deal. This could be, you know, it, it, it is a history lesson that you get a chance to see and enjoy, And but I will tell you, if you want it, you cannot wait too long on that one um, because we do expect it to completely sell out today. So call us or go to hsn.com to go ahead and get yours. All right, uh, take a look here. This is... Well, this is coming up. This is the gold coin. I, uh, I wish I had... Uh, I gotta have a drum roll. Is something. that it? That's, That's it. the one? That's the one right there. Oh, my uh, goodness. Yeah, a solid gold standing Liberty quarter just released, 477. I anticipate we will sell that edition out today. Really? Okay. I do. Okay. With, with the primetime show. And all. Now that one is brand new. We're just <clears> giving you a little sneak peek. That one is still to come. If you don't want to wait because you already know what it's about, you can all already uh, go ahead and uh, call in for that one. But take a look here. We've got Very the quick. uncirculated presidential dollar blank error coin. Mm -hmm. I, I love the story behind this one. Yeah, what happens is, is this is technically an error coin. And people are going, well, it's not even a coin. Well, it actually is. And the reason is, is it's been through the upsetting mill. And <laughs> it doesn't mean that someone yelled at the coin and, and and got it all mad and upset. Yeah, I heard its feelings. And is what happens is 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 you you get the blank, you punch it out, and then you send it through a thing that's that raises the edge so it can be struck. That's called an upsetting mill. Okay. Okay. And once it's done that, it's then technically a coin. It didn't get struck yet went through the quality assurance process, which is extraordinarily rare for this coin to get through. So it is a brilliant uncirculated presidential dollar blank blanks that we have a long history of collecting. <coughs> What are called blank planchets, but I can promise you none of them at $79.95. None of them at $79.95. Oops, sorry about that. It has been certified. So you have all this, it tells you all of those things, mm -hmm. certified and guaranteed by global certifications, that this is an authentic error. The key to this is not only the rarity. Yeah. Normally, you would see these at $149, $179, up to $299, $79.95. There is no more than probably three or 4,000 of these in existence. Oh, wow. That is it. I bought virtually every single one that's not in a private collection okay. <clears throat> uh, uh, to be able to get this. So $79.95, very, very quick opportunity for you to hear to own an exceptionally rare error coin mm -hmm. that's only 70, I mean, it may well be the lowest priced, rarest error coin I've ever been able to offer you. And so, like I said, it got through without being struck, which is extraordinarily uh, rare. Like I said, a long history of United States coins having uh, uh, coll uh, collecting error blanks. Yeah. And once they, once again, once the rim is there, once uh -huh. it's been gone through the upsetting mill, it is right. technically then a coin. And you have, this is the way that it comes. So mm -hmm. you've got the story already built in. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, I think the price is unbelievable. It, mm -hmm. And it's um, unmatched, really. So right. this was just a quick presentation. You can call or go to hsn.com to get yours. Now we've got a lot more to share with you. We're going to check in with a quick spotlight with Guy and then come back for more coin collection. Keep watching HSN for the latest products at the best price. This week we've got your leading brands in tech and innovation. Join us for up close and in depth product demonstrations from leading tech experts. Learn simple and helpful tips and how to's from your favorite brands. Tune in all week for special pricing, flex pay, and free shipping on all electronics. Start shopping now at hsn.com and search innovation for more great products. You don't have to be a train chef to cook a fantastic meal. The key to great cuisine starts with great ingredients, prepared in the simplest way possible. And when combined with the right kitchen solutions, cooking can be satisfying, creative and fun. I'm Curtis Stone and I'm passionate about food. Don't miss the return of Curtis Stone's Kitchen Solutions, only on HSN. my first 
book. I'm oh not my seeing gosh. this. It's beautiful. Flew it in, flew it in. I mean, there's been the courier. It's like, you know, wow. it's just like, like, like a briefings. spy novel. Like, yeah. <laughs> like in the football. <laughs> um, okay, we're <clears throat> glad that you're back. Mm -hmm. We promised you a great show. Everything is fast and furious. Take a look at this. Three of these already gone, by the way. Yeah. Just like that. And we just showed you literally just a little taste of it. You've got to talk us through, Mike, what we're seeing here and why it's so special. Well, this is this, and we're going to spend a tiny bit of time here, but do not wait too long, okay. folks. Okay. I, I got 477 of these, exclusive to HSN, okay. first day of issue, Annex SP70, absolutely perfect, solid gold standing Liberty Quarter. Oh my gosh. Solid gold standing Liberty Quarter, okay. The United States government, we have to go back 100 years, okay? 100 years ago, the United States Congress basically made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, yes, surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <clears throat> they incorrectly interpret interpreted the statute that had made the legislation that had made the barber coinage. And they had a barber dime, barber quarter, and a barber half dollar. You know, fine coins, but they were pretty boring. And they said, well, we need to replace that coinage. So they did so by making the Mercury dime, the Standing Liberty quarter, and the Walking Liberty half dollar. Um, <clears throat> they did all of those in 1916. Well, this is the 100th anniversary of those. By the way, the Mercury Dime, the Standing Liberty Quarter, and the Walking Liberty Half Dollar have become, of course, three of the single most popular and beautiful uh, coins ever made by the United States government. <clears throat> so to commemorate that centennial, the United States government created, recreated these coins in solid 24 karat gold. Wow. And it is an absolutely complete and faithful representation of the very first year of issue of the walking Liberty, or, or the Standing Liberty Quarter. So she's standing as opposed to walking. So she's the Standing Liberty Quarter. Now, if you go and look at the 2000, uh, <clears throat> the 1916, in this condition, that coin's about $100,000. Oh my God. About 100 grand for just the original one in silver. Yeah. Now, this one is solid gold, folks. Oh, wow. Now, if you remember the Mercury Dime, we did the Mercury Dime in solid gold. It's one of the best sellers that we've ever done. That one we sold for $4.99. Mm -hmm. Now, this one, of course, is, is $9.99. Interestingly enough, it has two and a half times the gold. Two and a half times the gold. And I want to do something. Other, it's an absolutely faithful representation of the, of the Standing Liberty Quarter with one exception. And if you cut in, can we get in tight, really tight right there? It tells you that it's solid 24 karat gold. It has to say that on the coin. Oh, yeah. Okay, you see where it says right there? It says AU. AU. Uh -huh. You see that? It says AU uh, uh, 24K. Okay. So it's, uh, AU is the symbol, uh, the atomic mm -hmm. symbol for gold. So it's gold 24 karat. Gold 24 karat wow. is what that is. And so as you look at this, it is also the original design. And in the original design, Lady Liberty is standing there, and I guess the best way to put this is semi-clothed, <laughs> okay? Okay. If you'll notice, uh, uh, it, she uh, has only draped one, one part of her chest. Okay, okay. In 1916, it may well be today, uh, that was a big deal, okay? So by 1917, they had clothed her. And not only had they clothed her, they did it with chain mail. <laughs> okay? wow. But this is the original representation, okay? This is the original design as design uh, uh, as the original design is. So it's just absolutely stunning with the shield, and then we call it half draped, is what okay. we call it, okay? okay. Is, is, the, is our coin terminology okay. for it, <clears throat> is half draped. Now I wanna flip this over, because I also love the reverse. The eagle in the reverse, very rarely do you see an eagle in full flight on the back of a United States coin. We always use eagles, but f being in full flight is the absolute key to this, yeah. okay? So anyway, so, so there we have that. Now, what I want to talk about, and we're very busy in the phone rooms, Absolutely. like I said, I, I have fully anticipate selling the entire uh, uh, thing out today. <clears throat> now, the fact of the matter is, is the United States government has only, only made 100,000 of these coins. So overnight, it makes it basically the rarest Standing Liberty Quarter. And, and make no mistake about it, it is an actual Standing Liberty Quarter. So it now becomes the coin that is absolutely, positively the key to the series. The mint mark, by the way, the West Point mint mark's right down here is okay. where they put the mint mark. 
on this particular piece. And it is done in solid 24 karat gold as well. You can see it is certified absolutely positively perfect. There are 477 of these. And now understand the mercury dime. I think we have, if we've not sold out the mercury dime, we are very close at $499. This coin once again contains two and a half times the gold. Contains two and a half times the gold. And in absolutely perfect SP70 condition, it is uh, an annex first day of issue is exclusive to us. Wow. <clears throat> when you look at this coin, the detail on this coin mm -hmm. is so high grade standing liberty quarters of any kind are extraordinarily difficult to get and extraordinarily expensive. Okay. Okay. And the reason is, is when you look at all the, I mean, the, the hardest part is the design on the shield mm -hmm. and actually her feet right down here and the mm. date of the coin, which is some of the, one of the highest points on the coin are right down here. And that wears off almost immediately. Yeah. Well, now do the whole thing in 24 karat gold, and you begin to understand the rarity. Now look at the edges of the coins. See all the little, see these things up here called denticles on the, on the edge of the coin. How every single one of those is absolutely stunningingly difficult to get, and, and, and that design up there in incredibly high grade. So we have all of that as an issue to make sure and get this SP70. Right. Now understand, there's only 100,000 coins to start with. Okay. They are done, that's before they're graded. Now we have an absolutely coin that is incredibly intricate in detail, done in the softest possible metal, mm -hmm. which is 24 karat gold. Mm -hmm. And then you put the entire thing together to try to get that in SP70 is extraordinarily difficult. Yeah. <clears throat> and so by the time you do that, then you have rarity uh, uh, on a different scale. So not only do you have the rarity of the coin itself, making it really uh, one of the rarest uh, uh, standing liberty quarters in existence anyway, but now with the SP70, you have it conditionally rare. So there's now out of that 100,000, there's only 477 that are annexed first day of issue perfect, period. Uh, and you're seeing them, and you get a and chance to get them. Right, they're all ex exclu exclusively available here on, uh, uh, on HSN. And, and and I'll tell you, even before we got to the actual presentation, when we just showed you the item number for it, because you knew it was coming, you've been waiting for this, many of you went ahead and ordered them before we even started. So you, now that you've seen it, and Mike was really pointing out the detail here, even the detail in her face, you can see the character mm -hmm. in her face. This is something, if, if you're looking at this and wanting to add it to your collection, this is the kind of thing that you can't wait too long on, particularly if you want it to the level of rarity that you have here. 24 karat gold. Uh, and by the way, that's made by the government. So you have other commemorative pieces where people plate it or layer yeah. it. This is solid 24 karat gold. So there is a tremendously, uh, uh, a tremendous percentage of this coin mm -hmm. is intrinsic just in terms of the solid gold value. But understand the numismatic value is I think even significantly more. First of all, you get a coin that is extraordinarily difficult to get in its original uh, uh, condition. And it was only made from 1916 to 1932, very short-lived. And then they started the Washington Quarter in 1932. So very short-lived coin. Many people don't know it exists. It is actually probably my favorite U.S. Uh, 20th century U.S. coin design uh, uh, because of all the intricate details on the front. And then I'm going to flip this over again. The uh, eagle in flight on the reverse is absolutely one of my favorite coins. And then to have done it in solid gold, to be able to do that entire thing uh, uh, just like that, it becomes so phenomenally collectible. It is so phenomenally uh, 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 an intrinsic part of America's numismatic history. And then to get it absolutely positively perfect. And now, understand this is this is the centerpiece. If you all the Standing Liberty quarter collectors and there are far more than 100,000 of them, mm -hmm. are now going to absolutely, positively have to put this coin into their collection. That's right. And of course, if they want it in its rarest possible 70 format, mm -hmm. I mean, like for instance, they, you may see some NGCs or PCGS out there. The Annex is going to be rarest. The Annex is exclusive to us here at HSN. It is uh, uh, the numbered edition. There's only 477. You know exactly which coin you get. Every one of the 
the coins is individually numbered to ensure its place within the limited edition. So you get these. So once again, you have the rarity of the fact that it's a hundredth anniversary. So, you know, you have got a gap mm -hmm. <clears throat> of almost 85 years between when it was last made and when it was made again. Right, right. But this design, you were saying, Oh, was, it was only, it was was only, 19, only made. 1916, 1917, actually. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, 1916, like I said, because she is what we call half draped, as you, as you can see there. Okay. And so because of that, there was kind of an outrage on that. That was very classical. There was very near, it was a, it was yeah, a it was very neoclassical neo design at mm -hmm. the time. Uh, uh, and relatively common, in all honesty. I mean, you know, all the statues and things of the time. It was very a Romanesque period. And, and so uh, that was relatively, uh, uh, relatively common. However, not on necessarily on our coin. Right. And so because of that, they, uh, the, United, the American public demanded that she be draped, mm -hmm. uh, is what they get, instead of half draped, be fully draped. And not only did they drape her, like I said, they drape her in chain mail, yeah. uh, 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 starting in 1917, is, is, what, uh, is what they did. So uh, uh, just a tremendous representation of a first year only issue mm -hmm. that you have in the Standing Liberty Quarter. And like, go back to the 1916 Standing Liberty Quarter. I mean, in... If, if you can recognize it as a 1916, mm -hmm. it's about a $3,000 coin. My goodness. I mean, it's, that's not even regardless of grade. It is one of the great rarities of the 20th century. And that well, was made in what metal? Uh, silver. In silver. Well, it was a quarter. Yeah, yeah, it was made in silver. Mm -hmm. Now, this coin, understand, is every bit as rare. Okay, every bit as rare as the 1916 Stand and Liberty Quarter, except it's absolutely perfect in solid gold for not for less than a thousand dollars. So I mean, you know, so you can put that into a lot of different perspective. There yeah. is is what you're looking at in terms of that. Now, like I said, 477 in the limited edition. I will have it in the primetime show tonight. Oh wow! We just flew this in. If you've been waiting, if you're a collector of our first day of issues that we have here in the annex, and if you collect annex first day of issue there's only one place to collect them hsn it is exclusive to us yeah. and like i said it has got that look because it is solid pure 24 karat gold that's not layered or plated yeah, or yeah. vermeil the united states government that is an original solid gold design by the united states government so just a tremendous opportunity like i said i it love really the reverse <clears throat> very rare to find a beautiful eagle in flight like that uh in that done exclusively with us here at hsn yeah. limited of only 477 and brand new mm -hmm. I mean I mean the fact that you know we just flew it in literally. just flown in and as a matter of fact you know these are the kind of things that, that are so rare I mean we get a chance to look at them and, and really you know admire the beauty very shortly before we present them to you it's not something that we hold for a while waiting to put them on air so this is brand new here it's brand new to you it will be the centerpiece of your collection and particularly because of the rarity particularly because of the beauty because it was beautiful a hundred years ago right um but it hasn't been seen in terms of in this realm in a hundred years. Right. This is the centennial. This is 24 karat gold. This is the best of the best. And, and it's interesting, when we did the Mercury Dime, it was basically the same design even through its last year of 1947. This design was basically only 1916. Mm -hmm. So this design, not only is the, it is the 100th anniversary of the coin, it's 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 a hundred year interim between uh, between this design. Today uh, it was only 1916, uh, uh, basically. So you have a hundred year hiatus for the original design that you've done right there. Uh, I love that. If we can look right in there to see where the mint mark is, one of the original, one, or really a fun place to put the mint mark that was also very, very original. You see the West Point mint uh, uh, down there. Should be down there by her foot. And, and you see the 2016. And once again, make no mistake about it, this is an actual Standing Liberty Quarter. So all of those Standing Liberty Quarter collectors now have to add this to make their collection complete. That's right. It, it's, it's, it's absolutely that quarter. Last made in 1930, uh, 1931, actually yeah. was the last year of the standing liberty quarter so like i said almost a 70 85 year hiatus it was very short-lived only 15 years uh, uh very extraordinarily expensive series to put together particularly in high grade because they didn't make many of them back then they're making of course even fewer of them now limited edition from the government of a hundred thousand but in perfect 
certified perfect first day of issue, there's only 477. That's right. And there's actually less, less than well, that far now. far less than that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Than that now just well, because... With everybody on the phone, I have maybe yeah. 400 left. And then we have, of course, the big primetime presentation. Absolutely. And, and that's the deal. You get a chance to see it first. And I'm glad that you're joining uh, us first. But many of you watch now and then you go ahead and order during the primetime show. Right. I would not wait on that because by the time this airs, we're going to give you a And understand it will that. sell throughout the day pretty yes, significantly. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And I don't want you to have to fight the phone lines then. So go ahead and give us a call now. We're going to check in with a quick spotlight and come back for more. This is your spotlight to what's happening this week at HSN. Sweater weather is here. Serena Williams updates a classic with her new arrivals. And don't miss the premiere of Marie Claire's Shoes First with the It Fall footwear list from your favorites, including the premiere of Cole Haan. Pops of yellow metal are the hot trend in jewelry. Check out RJ Graziano to complete your look. And don't forget to shop HSN.com and search fashion. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. I'm inspired by almost everything around me that's beautiful. I'm Victoria Wick. I grew up in South Korea, so I can see things from a different perspective and marry all the multicultural elements into one design. I'm all about balance and versatility. In the Victoria Wick collection, you're gonna find exclusive designs, high quality cuts. No detail is too small, and my designs are never ending. It's fun, timeless, and still fashionable. trivia question. Augustus Caesar, the earliest recorded coin collection, belonged to the first emperor of Rome uh, who lived from 63 BC to uh, 14 AD. Mm, Augustus For him, it was Caesar. Just, it was just hanging family was, portraits. Was, oh, I thought he was just <laughs> hoarding money. <laughs> yeah, but they all had his picture on it. So. Well, that's true. He was a little, that was the first selfie. <laughs> <laughs> the first selfie. Yeah, take a picture of this. That's right. And put it in that coin. <laughs> put it in that coin. I'm glad that you're shopping with us. Stay with us. A lot of you are still on the phone for some of the things that we started off the show with. But since we were talking about gold uh, just a moment ago before the break, let's stick with the gold theme. And um, we're going to come to our 2016 Liberty 10 uh, 24 karat gold is it Aram Notes? Aram, yeah, Aram. that's just, just the name. Okay. Uh, uh, is what it is. It's basically, and as you can see, this is this is a backwards representation of this. <clears throat> when we when we debuted these last week, I had 2,000 of them. Yes, you Unfortunately, did. Unfortunately, I, I have only the two samples left. <laughs> oh Plus, gosh. we sold I, uh, almost the better part of 10,000 notes. Wow. Okay, because people saw this and realized that this is a cool, incredible thing. That's right. Uh, what this is, and I, and I want to show you, this is the front and this is the reverse, and it's done in a, a as you can see, it's truly a reverse. Because the reason is, you know what this is? That's a sheet of pure 24 karat gold. Wow. That is literally a sheet of pure 24 karat gold. And people are going, well, what do you mean by that? We this is this is a new technology. It's like kind of like you know the the new 3D printer thing. Only it prints in solid gold. So what you've got is it literally lays down the gold an atom at a time. My goodness. So until we get four atoms of gold and it becomes a sheet of gold, much like a gold foil or gold leaf. Yeah. We then have a polyethylene, kind of a space age polyethylene film so that, uh, because I mean, you know, you can, if you breathe hard on gold, uh, on, on, uh, on gold foil, you yeah. know, on gold leaf, it, it just breaks. It yeah. just, it just tears it. Yeah. So, so you have it. So not only that, and I want to show you this, if I may. Okay. I've been carrying this around for about three weeks now. 
intentionally kind of doing everything in my power to kind of destroy it, okay? <laughs> and, and you can see, well, I folded it up real good. It is a solid sheet of gold that you can literally, I mean, you know, it is, it, it's incredibly durable once we get the polyethylene film on it. Now, here's the here's the cool part. And this is why we've literally sold like 10,000 of these. And, and the reason is, is you can buy one note, five notes, or 10 notes. 10 notes is always the most popular. Mm -hmm. Here's ultimately what it comes down to. You can literally own gold now for less than $20. In the past, you own gold, to own pure 24 karat gold. And you wanted to get uh, 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 you know, $20 worth of gold here. And actually, there's, there's, there's less than $20 worth of gold. In. I mean, there's the, the, the process and all. Uh, uh, with this, it's yeah. a tenth of a gram. Okay. Um, you would need a, uh, uh, you'd need like a miner's helmet, a jeweler's loop, and I mean, you know, and you have to be careful. You have to be in a room with no wind because it just blow away, yeah. or to be so tiny you couldn't yeah. even see it. This is the very first time that we get in what we call transactional sizes of gold. Okay. okay. Now, while this is not legal tender, you know, there is probably nothing that I have offered. Yeah. In all of these years that I have been doing this, that has created more interest when somebody sees it than one of these. Mm -hmm. People, and understand, Agreed. I've been carrying this in my pocket yeah. for now two and a half weeks. And you can see that is still a sheet, and under, make no mistake, this is a sheet of pure 24 karat gold. Okay, uh, once again, I mean, that's pretty nasty. This one's uh, yeah. uh, put together. Nice and pure, yeah. pure 24 karat gold. Th this just has a, a nice polyethylene coating on it now so that it can hold up. But make no mistake about it, it is pure gold. It is assayable. So in other words, you can send this in to an assay office. They can melt it down and they will return to you one-tenth of a gram of gold with an assay report because we've done it. Yeah. Okay, over and over and over and over and over again mm -hmm. because, you know, I like, okay, you're sure. Not only is it gold, you, it's an exact amount of gold, uh, okay? Okay. So it is a precise amount of gold yeah. every single solitary time. Now, since we lay it down an atom at a time, we can actually print designs on this. Mm -hmm. Okay, currently I'm the only place that you can get this, uh, uh, this note that you see right here. This is about to, this is a limited edition note, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, and these are about to sell. Now, I, I want to show you, there's a number on here that is not a serial number, okay? That's a counterfeit detection number so that we, we understand the batches of the notes. Okay. So here's what it comes down to. So you can buy these notes. Now, for tonight's show, I'm, I have a thousand notes, another thousand notes being overnighted into me so I can bring them in and, and show them to you. But it is truly, absolutely, and incredibly amazing. We have sold thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of these notes. It is absolutely spectacular because you now have an opportunity, because if you get 10 notes, you're down to $17.99 to own pure gold. Wow. To own a sheet of pure gold. And that's what people are going, so, so what do you mean? I go, so it's literally a sheet of pure gold that is then protected, okay? okay. okay. And so that you can carry it. It's a transactional size. That's right. And once again, like I said, it's not legal tender, but it's pure gold. It's pure you gold. do with it what you want. It's yeah. one of the coolest things. And like I said, I've been carrying this one for weeks now yeah. uh, uh, in, in my pocket. And it holds up to just absolutely incredible. There's no way that you can get $18 worth of gold and everybody wants gold yeah but to tr i mean the, the the lowest price gold coin we have i think is about 300 bucks oh my goodness okay and it's like you know everybody says well i want some gold i i, I like this it's kind of an interesting uh, a thing but you can see it is solid 24 karat gold it is solid 24 karat gold buy yeah. one note five notes 10 notes and can you tell me what the most pop 20 uh, the most popular yeah. is i think usually the 10 note yeah, it's usually it's usually a ten because now again because you kind of save the shipping and handling is, is the, what it comes down. That's true. Even though we have buy more yeah. than save, and yeah. it is ten. And just so you know, if you did want the uh, five or the ten pack, uh, you can get flex pay. So you know it just oh, makes it very easy we? for you. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. You can definitely oh, get flex, flex, flex pay. pay. But this is the Very deal. Nice. When Mike first brought these in, probably, what, what is it, a week ago, a week and a half ago or so, yeah. 
he literally brought them in because he 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 personally hand delivered the gold <laughs> and uh we had stacks i don't know if you were watching that show i hope that you were because we had stacks and stacks of gold it was like for me it was like being in the best dream i've ever had um being able to pick up all of that gold and just hold it and, and feel and wait until you get it in your hands that's why i think the 10 uh, 10 notes are the most popular so that you can have and, and i want to tell you something yeah. i don't have them here and I'll have them tonight. Okay. Each one comes in its own sleeve. Yeah. Okay, so they're individual, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have, your, your note doesn't have to end up looking like that. Okay. I did that uh, as a scientific, well, as non scientific yeah. Yeah. survey of, of just the durability okay. of literally $18 worth of gold. I mean, not only keeping track of it for three weeks, right. because I mean, $18 worth of gold traditionally, you know, uh, 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 and like I said, a little bit, there's, there's less than $18 worth of gold in here because the process is very, the machine to make this is over $3 million. Oh. Wow. I mean, this is the highest of the high tech is yeah. what this comes down to. Literally laying this down an atom at a time. Mm -hmm. We had sold out of the 10 notes. It is an extraordinarily meticulous high tech process to do this, to literally get a sheet of pure gold, which is what this is, a sheet of pure gold that is then layered in poly a polyethylene film over the top of it. But, but it, 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 you know, it, integrally, mm -hmm. this is the inside of this is a solid sheet of 24 karat gold. Okay, I know that we do have to move on, but uh, you know, far and away, the 10 pack is the most popular, and it always is. You do get flex pay if you wanted to get that home, but uh, give us a call or go to hsn.com, and I wanted to show you this one again. Uh oh, we've already sold, uh, I think we've already sold dozens, 30. Oh. Already sold 30 of these, okay? Uh, understand, this is the brand new. Okay, folks, let me explain to you what this is. The United States government usually releases what, uh, releases what we call the Proof American Eagle, the West Point Mint Proof Eagle. At the beginning of the year, January, February, at the very latest, okay, at the very latest, January or February. Mm -hmm. This year, of course, it is September because for the 30th anniversary of the American Silver Eagle, they have done something they've never done before. Great shot there, guys. They took the 30th anniversary and edge lettered it. It took them forever to get that done. It is the only coin, only proof American Eagle that has or will ever have edge lettering like this. And of course, this one says 30th anniversary. Mm -hmm. We have got it in perfect proof 70, exclusive to us here at uh, HSN, as you can see with the Red Oak presentation box. It comes with a certificate good for two free gradings from Annex as well. The phones are going crazy for oh. this. It is our first look on this. Yeah. Uh, it, it is, it couldn't be more spectacular. We could without even a sample in place here. I mean, I had to do it, uh, uh, take a picture for the web only. Yeah. Uh, without a sample in place, we will sell a hundred of these here tonight. Easily. Uh, easily. easily. So get yours. That is on its way to sell out. Okay, take a look here. I know speaking you, of sell out. Speaking of sell out. Something you cannot miss here. Uh, mm -hmm. This is your 2016. You're looking at five ounces of silver in the National Park <laughs> bullion coin. And uh, this one, you've got flex pay on this one. But take a look. Look at these. Well, here, first things first. We have been selling a tremendous quantity of of the five ounce America the Beautiful coins. Mm -hmm. It has been a, a coin that we have been tremendously, tremendously uh, 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 popular here. We've sold literally thousands, tens of thousands of these coins. The uh, Teddy Roosevelt's just out. This is the Teddy Roosevelt National Park, which is in North Dakota. There's, there's TR right there looking out <laughs> over, the, over the Badlands, as you can see. Uh, our very first look, once again, uh, we have no idea how many the government's going to make. By law, they can't make more than 120,000. Okay. The, the original mintage on this, I think, is about 40. Uh, we have no idea if they'll make any more. They may get all jammed up making the Proof Eagle and all the other stuff, and that could be it. We never know if we'll get more or not. Okay. Here's the key. So for those of you that are just kind of joining in here, 999 fine silver, five ounces pure silver. <clears throat> five ounces of pure silver, folks. The United States government started doing these pure silver coins in 2010 when they started releasing the America the Beautiful series in 2010. 
So they started doing these for some unknown reason. They decided to make the largest silver coin ever made by the United States government. Nobody knows exactly why. They don't tell us, <laughs> nor do they ask us or anything else. They started making these, and when they did in 2010, overnight it became a phenomenal sensation. As a matter of fact, the 2010 coins to this day, I think we have a few of them on HSN.com. I believe we're about $1,000 a coin on them, certified, okay, for the ones that we have. They release five of these per year. By law, the maximum mintage is 120,000. Most of them are about 50,000, making them literally some of the rarest coins made by the United States government, and it's not even close. On top of the phenomenal rarity, as you can see, I sell you that brand new Silver Eagle that we have, Proof Eagle's 179, it's yeah. one ounce of silver. Yeah. There's gonna be more of those than there, were, there are these, period. I'll sell more of the other one, because right. I can actually get more of the other one, mm -hmm. okay, because it's the 30th anniversary, but this is technically a significantly rarer coin, and by the way, has over a quarter of a pound of pure silver. Oh my goodness. Five ounces. This, in my opinion, is the single most overlooked coin in the United States today, and make no mistake about it, this is an actual quarter. Okay. Literally, if you took this into a convenience store, they would have to take this as legal tender. <laughs> they would now, question you. <laughs> I don't suggest it. The smart ones would look at it and say, five ounces of silver, yeah, go ahead with that gum. Right. I got the change. You know, don't worry about it. You know, I'll, I'll take care of the rest of it. You don't have to have two. And, and so this is the brand new Teddy Roosevelt. Just released, literally flew this one in too. This is the brand new just release show is, is what we've got here. Now this, once again, I was only able to get and there's only a dozen basically authorized purchasers. And I've gone out of my way to basically buy everything I could from two of them. Okay, so I've probably got five or 10% at the very least of the entire original mintage of this. Because I've wow. got, uh, uh, because uh, at this point, I've got the better part. I'm down to 600 coins. Okay. We started, we had, when we put this on hsn.com, we had significantly more than that. Yeah. People are already buying them. Uh, like I said, I've got, uh, with everybody on the phone, I probably have 50, so I have 14 technically sold, okay. but I've got dozens and dozens and dozens of people on the phone as well. Okay. Because you've been collecting, you've been buying from us, the Cumberland Gap and the Shawnee mm -hmm. and, the, and the Saratoga. Mm -hmm. And we had the White Mountain. I had the Gettysburg last week for about two and a half minutes. I remember that. Okay, you remember that? Yeah. We had the Gettysburg sold out instantaneously. So this is, when I put this into prime time, this thing is just going to go crazy. Yeah. Easily. Because Easily. it also, the other ones are the Shawnee National, I mean, you know, not everybody knows about that, okay? You still have all that. Now you also have a theme in Theodore Roosevelt that is one of the most popular parks and one of the most popular themes that you have uh, 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 in all the entire America the Beautiful series. And so now you've got not only the five ounces of pure silver, the brilliant uncirculated coin that's a brand new release, but then you have a theme that everybody wants to collect on top of that. So now it becomes increasingly difficult to get these coins. Understand that, let's say the government, they go increasingly popular, and the government decides to make the full mintage. Mm -hmm. It still is 120,000 coins. I don't think they will be. I still think it'll end up being, if it was a Silver Eagle, it'd be end up being the second rarest Silver Eagle ever made by the government. Yeah. With the second rarest, current second rarest American Silver Eagle selling for about $1,000 with one ounce of silver in it. Like I said, I just sold a one ounce silver proof coin. Yeah. And Chris, how many of those have we sold? For $179. That's right. For the brand new sil one ounce silver proof coin. I've probably sold the better part of 50 of those proof coins that we just showed, yeah. the, the web only special. That's right. 46, yeah, 46 of those. Of them almost. Okay. Yeah. This coin has five times the gold, or oh, silver, it? sorry, mm -hmm. my, my, my mistake. Five ounces, four additional ounces of silver for 10 bucks more, okay, is ultimately yeah. what it comes down to. So fantastic, fantastic opportunity for you to get this. Really and what is. we've done is we've created a lot of these five ounce America the Beautiful collectors. Because yeah. we started selling these kind of the middle, where I could finally get some quantity, the middle of 2015. Okay. If you go on hsn.com, I think I've got a few White Mountains left, which is a 2000 and 
2014 coin or a 2013 coin. Okay. I think I might have a couple of white mountains left. They're like $199. I was able to get a good price. I have some of the 2010 coins left, the first year of issue. Okay. Uh, Hot Springs of Arkansas, uh, 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 what is that? Hot Springs, Yosemite, uh, Yellowstone, but they're about a thousand bucks a piece. Oh my goodness. If you want the Hawaii coin from like 2011, I think yeah. that's about an $800 coin. Oh my uh, gosh. Somewhere in that uh, uh, range. Many of the back issue coins, because remember they're coins, they all have the same exact amount of silver in them. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind, it wasn't that long ago. Is there the White Mountain? There's the White Mountain. I still have a few of those. That's oh, yeah. 2013. Okay. At 199 bucks. Okay. Look at that. Uh, yeah. I've got. Uh, I've probably got, got a couple of dozen of those left. I had okay. 300 of those last week. I was able to buy oh, my three. Goodness. Yeah, 300 of those. That's okay. that's three sealed boxes. Okay. Understand wow. these come in big, huge. There's 100 that's coins enough. in a box because each box has 500 ounces of silver it's, in it's, it. You know, it's very heavy. I mean, very about heavy. That. Very, very, so, and very we're, heavy. So, so we're six years into this program. Six yes. years into this one. And how much longer do we have? Well, uh, we have four more years. Five more. Four, five more years. Yeah. And think about this. As, as we were talking to you about the White Mountain and, and Yosemite and Shawnee and all of those, the, you know, the, the further away we get from when it was when it was uh, minted, the more rare it gets, the harder it is to find, the more expensive it is. So if you are in the program, or maybe you're just starting your collection and you'll go back and try to get some of those that you don't have, but you do want to start here, this is where you start before... Uh, it sells out before you have to look elsewhere before the price goes higher. Well, and keep in mind, the other thing about this is let's not forget the silver component. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago that silver was $50 an ounce. Mm -hmm. This melts for $250. <laughs> wow. Okay, you understand? This melts for $250. And during like 2011, yeah. 2011, 2012, mm -hmm. the wholesale cost, and understand these never sell for just silver. Yeah. There's always a significant premium to the silver. So when silver's 50 bucks, this coin's 400, okay? Oh, this see, coin's puts into 500. So understand, you're getting this. Now, silver is up about 25 or 35 percent this year. Mm -hmm. My price on these is up like 20 percent, and it okay. basically is just representing the increase in the price of silver. Okay. Is, ulti is ultimately, unfortunately, what I've had to do. If silver continues to go up, there's just nothing I can do. I yeah. mean, you know, uh, 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 and so that's what is reflective in the price. If silver goes up, you get an increase in the intrinsic value. So let's say silver goes up a dollar an ounce. Okay. Just the silver in this goes up five bucks. Because mm -hmm. there are five, look at this, 999 fine pure silver. 999 fine silver, five ounces. This is the largest silver coin ever made by the United States government, bar none. You are looking, this is an actual quarter. Oh, wow. Uh, look at that thing. Yeah, pick I it had up. To yeah, feel just that. hold it by the edge. And you can see, and now add in the fact, so you've got the in tremendous intrinsic value. Then look at the fact that this is an actual coin. Make no mistake about it, this is an actual coin. This is a quarter. This is a North Dakota Teddy Roosevelt America the Beautiful quarter. It just happens to be the rarest iteration of it. Current mintage on this is probably only about 50,000 coins at the very most. Wow. Okay, which mm -hmm. as it stands would make it the second rarest American Silver Eagle ever made, which currently that American Silver Eagle with 100,000 mintage is about a thousand dollar coin, has one ounce of silver. Over in. So the rarity of this <clears throat> in modern American numismatics is extraordinarily rare. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. It's extraordinarily rare. And then add in the fact that there is a tremendous and amazing intrinsic value to this. Right. The fact that there's five ounces over a quarter of a pound of pure silver contained within the coin as well. And this is brand new, just released. I've sold thousands of the Shawnees, thousands right. of the Cumberland Gaps. We've sold thousands of the Saratogas. We've sold thousands. I don't have we thousands don't have of thousands. these. And, and that's the deal. You get as much as you can get. I take every one uh, they have. And uh, we don't have thousands. We don't have a The government doesn't sell these directly to the general public. Okay. okay. You have to go through a series of authorized purchasers okay. which fortunately I'm part of that's that 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 system yeah so I'm able to get these coins they're original they're brilliant on circular they come in their own individual holders you get them you get the silver over a quarter of a pound of silver brilliant on circulated 2016 get them before they sell 
out. And we've got about 60 seconds or so uh, remaining on this one. And um, because we are coming into the end of our hour, you can continue, of course, to uh, order on hsn.com even mm -hmm. after the show is over and even for the rest of this evening and into tomorrow, <clears throat> or I should say into later on today, because Mike will have another show this evening. Yes. Uh, and with the, the few that we have left in quantity at this point, and I know there's going to be even fewer when it gets to that 7 oh, o'clock yes, show, yes. this one is going to fly. And what happens is during these hours, during this morning, you have a chance to be the, the first to get it. You don't have to rush on the phone. You don't have to wait long. If you call, you'll get a customer service rep right away. If you go to hsn.com, you're just a couple clicks, and you'll have this on its way to you. But later on this afternoon during the 7 p.m. show, that's when it's a fight to the finish. That's when you're kind of hoping that you can get your order in before the next guy, before he takes yours, because we have so few of these available. And just like Mike said, he gets as many as he can get, but at this point, we, we are into just the hundreds, not thousands, oh. but just the hundreds of what we have. I sold, sold thousands. I don't have thousands. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would be in the thousands if they would let me buy thousands, <laughs> okay? Thousands, yeah. but, but they just don't, because understand, it's substantially rare to begin with. This is brand new, just released, so obviously very desirable out there. Uh, uh, I was able to get only, uh, uh, you know, what I was able to get. That's it. Done, gone, and over. So continue to uh, uh, call in for this. Once again, almost assuredly sell out today. Yes, and you can always shop on hsn.com for anything that you're looking for here at hsn if you are a collector of whether it's coins maybe it is you're a sports fan and you want to look and see what your favorite team uh, has to offer on hsn.com check that out as well and uh, we really do make it easy for you to shop and really to um, pick up anything that your heart desires and that's all on hsn.com so mike as always thank you pleasure fast and furious we promised you that and we'll see you back at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. All right. Great, I can't thanks. wait. I cannot wait. Stay with us. We've got 10 faves coming up next. But first, we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to run to the 10 faves studio, and I'll meet you on the other side. Who knew a little piece of plastic could be so much fun? Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. There's so many things to love about HSN, but one thing that makes shopping here fun is FlexPay. Get it home now without the stress of paying all at once. Why pay full purchase price today when you can pay over time? Buy what you want now. Pay it off later with your credit or debit card. FlexPay. It's that easy. Except